Hello friends, this video on body movements part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Oh, movements. So let us now look in detail at movements in human beings. How exactly different parts of our body moves. Think of the scenario. Have you ever seen cricket match? So how do a bowler bowls? So when he bowls, you would have seen the movement of his hand how his arm rotates completely. So something like this when he tries to bowl, it rotates completely to throw the ball. But think of somebody who is playing badminton. So when you play badminton, do you rotate your arm completely? Not really. So in this case, all you do is you just rotate this part of your arm. So just this part. So from here, you just rotate your the angle of your hand. So the way you rotate your hand when you are playing cricket and the way you rotate your hand or move your hand when you are playing badminton, they are very different. So in the first case, you see that you can rotate your arm at the shoulder completely. Whereas in the second case, you can move it sideways. Though you can't rotate it, but you can just move it sideways. You can just in, I mean, reduce this angle or increase this angle. You can move it like this or like this, but you cannot completely rotate it. The same holds true while lifting a heavy rod. So when you lift something which is really heavy, there also you would have seen that you move your hands from here. You do not rotate it completely. Again, you think of examples like when you dance. So when you dance, you can flexibly move each of your fingers. Look at the your fingers. You can move them so comfortably. You can half bend them, you can completely bend them, you can bend all of them. So you can make many different postures with different fingers of your hand. So your fingers are also flexible enough to show different types of movement. When you exercise, either while you are jogging or walking or when you are, sit or when you are on the treadmill, what happens? Your legs are continuously working, especially when you look at the portion of your knee, so this part. So from this part, you can actually move your leg. So it can go this direction, it can come this direction. So again, you can just move it back and fro. And this type of movement is not only seen during walking or running, even when you kick a ball. So the same movement is in. Gymnastic. Have you ever uh, seen somebody doing gymnastic? So while doing gymnastic, you would have seen that it is not only the limbs, not only the hands and the legs which have flexibility, but there are other parts of the body which also moves. For example, neck. The neck moves, the waist moves. So all these movements are also possible. But did you notice something in all these examples? Whether you look at the example of playing cricket, badminton, dance or treadmill or gymnastic. In all of these examples, you see that there are some specific parts of our body which we can move. Whereas some other parts of our body cannot move. It is not that we can move all parts of our body. We can just move our body, body parts at certain locations. So, for example, when you want to move your hands, you can move it from your elbow you can move the fingers and that too you would have seen each if you observe each of your fingers there are just in between two sections where you can fold them similarly you can move it or rotate it at your shoulder but you cannot move it somewhere in between so these are the points where you cannot move it in between you cannot move your hands so there are some specific areas which allow movement so moving different body parts and different body parts move in different ways. So let's uh, talk, talk about neck. So how does your neck move? So do you think you can rotate your neck completely? No. How do you move your neck when you say no? So you move it right and left. So your neck can actually go this side or this side, but you cannot rotate it completely. So we can say that it rotates partially. So neck rotates partially now when you move your arms so your arms from here from your shoulder they can actually rotate fully like when how you uh, do bowling so that time or how when you dance so you actually move your arms completely when it, it comes to your fingers 
they can also move fingers can basically bend we would not say that they uh, would rotate but the fingers can bend but when it comes to the arms they can rotate completely what happens when you kick a football so while kicking a football the knee bends so here also you can see that uh, the part of your body where, where you have the knee so that part can also bend you cannot rotate your knee or you cannot you know bend your knee both ways you can just move your knee either in this direction or in this direction when you are trying to look up to see something or uh, when somebody who is very tall to you is talking to you so how do you look you lift your head up so how is how does that lifting happens moving your head upwards to look at something that that type of movement is called lift so when you look at your head you can lift your head up you can lift your head down so th that's the kind of movement that can happen in your head when you talk about the back so back is capable of bending so again you cannot rotate your back completely but yes you can bend like uh, when you see somebody dancing or when you see somebody performing gymnastics you can see their back bending so well so that flexibility is there so when you look at this you see that there are certain parts of our body like neck uh, wrist fingers knee again wrist is another example which can rotate completely so when you look at your wrist you can actually rotate it completely but when you look at the fingers you can just bend them so different parts of our body can move in different ways so some parts have the flexibility to rotate or move completely while other parts have limited flexibility to move there are certain parts of our body which do not move at all so we will talk about those parts as well so here you saw that how different body parts Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.